welcome to my week 8 pregnancy update. This has been quite a, quite a rough week for me. I've had a lot of morning sickness. Uh, yeah, morning sickness basically has, has taken over control completely. Um, it starts in the morning and it doesn't go away until the e late evening, until I go to bed. Uh, it starts before I get out of bed. The first thing I need to do is I, I, need, I need to get something into my stomach before I can actually func function uh, like a normal person. <laughs> um, and then how, can, how else can I describe it? It's just I don't, I don't like to eat. Uh, okay, I, I don't really know what I want to eat. Uh, the only things I can, I can stomach. Nothing tastes good. Nothing smells good. Nothing looks good. <laughs> um, and the only things I can stomach at the moment are fruit and vegetables. But not uh, at this point. I can't even handle salad even more. Where, whereas to I. At the beginning of the pregnancy, I said I said I can't get enough uh, salad, and now I can't I can't look at it anymore. <clears throat> and it's fruits basically, um, and light things. Oh yeah, Jello. I, I love to eat Jello chocolate pudding. Fruits, fruit and Jello chocolate pudding are the, the two main things that I'm living off at the moment. Um, in how do I cope with it? Um, I started drinking ginger ale. I, I kind of felt that the bubbles in the ginger ale that I was drinking kind of helped to calm my stomach down for whatever reason. Some people say, oh, you shouldn't drink anything with bubbles in them, but in, in it. Um, but I, first, I liked it. It helped me. And but now it's. I don't. I don't want to drink too much of it because of the sugar in it, and I don't like the. The ginger ale, the light version, doesn't doesn't taste good at all to me. <clears throat> uh, and last night, someone recommended uh, to me um, ginger candy, so I went to our local uh, Safeway and I found these uh, chewy ginger candy. They're called gingins, and they're really delicious. And yeah, they do help. They do help me, but I only eat maybe two or three a day. Also because of the sugar, I'm trying to keep the sugar intake uh, lower. Um, oh, and then I haven't weighed myself this week, but I do have my first official midwife appointment this afternoon, so I'm sure that she will have she will weigh me there, and then I can let you guys know. Uh, I'm very excited about this appointment today, and it's my first midwife appointment. I've already gotten a few strange comments about seeing a midwife instead of an OBGYN. With my first pregnancy I saw OBGYN and he was great, he was amazing, but it's just it was my wish or it is my wish for my second pregnancy to to go my journey with a midwife and hopefully um, yeah deliver my baby with this midwife. I first have, I have to get to know her first, I have a lot of questions I want to ask her and I'm very very excited and I hope I get to see the baby today who knows <laughs> um, maybe maybe at eight weeks maybe at 12 weeks I don't know how it works here in the States um, with Oscar I first got to see him at six weeks and five days so I'm already really ah, I really want to see see the baby um, what else uh, yeah, the house is a mess. I can't get myself to clean up. It's really, I'm so angry with myself, but all I want to do is just lie on the sofa and, and rest. And it, it, to me, it seems, even though I get a full night of sleep, it's just, I, I do not wake up rested in the morning and I, I still need more sleep. Every time my little one goes down for a nap, I go down for a nap, or I just sit on the sofa and rest and, and close my eyes for a little bit. Um, any more symptoms? I do feel like my belly has popped out a little bit more, but this could just be from eating or bloating. It's just a teeny tiny difference to five weeks. Uh, I, I may be able to show you guys the, the belly shot later, but I haven't really decided yet when to start with it. Mm. What else? 
Uh, there haven't been any baby buys. Oh, my mom went out. I, 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 I get the feeling that everyone in my, on my side of the family is convinced that this baby is going to be a girl. We have no idea at this point yet. But my mom already went out and bought two pink onesies, even though she doesn't know the gender yet. We all don't know the gender yet. yet. But it's, yeah, she seems to be uh, warming up to the idea of having another grandchild. Um, Oscar, I, for, I think he does not quite understand yet. He's almost two years old oh, well, he's he will turn 23 months in a few days in a couple of days uh, but I he knows he points at my belly and he says belly baby and um, yeah I think he does but he doesn't really quite understand the concept of me being pregnant and that there will be a sibling in the near future um, but yeah that makes me really excited that he's excited I already asked him if he thinks whether the baby is going to be a girl or a boy and he says girl and then I, I, I ask him the question in English and then I ask him the question in German and he he says the same gender twice so um, he says the same yeah he says girl in English and in German so I wonder maybe maybe he has a feeling maybe he knows that that the baby is going to be a girl I don't know I have the very beginning, I thought that, yeah, it's going to be a girl, but now I'm, I'm confused and I'm not so sure anymore. So um, we'll see. I hope that I can have another ultrasound at 12 weeks. I will be exactly 12 weeks on August 21st, which is, which is my 30th birthday. So I'm really excited. I hope I can schedule an ultrasound for that day with... Oscar, we kind of found out uh, at 12 weeks and 5 days that he's a boy. He was, when we went to the ultrasound, he was jumping up and down, up and down. And the ultrasound tech said to us, hmm, hmm, <laughs> you see something hanging out there. And so she said, well, it looks like a boy, but I can't be 100% sure. And then we went in at 16 weeks again, and we got a confirmation that it was, in fact, a boy and I with him I had a very very strong feeling from the very beginning that he was going to be a boy and this time I'm mm, not so sure um, morning sickness I talked about morning sickness midwife appointment I think that's about it I just I would be really grateful if other pregnant mommies that are going through the same thing right now. Yeah, right now, even right now, I feel really, oh, yesterday was really bad. I I went for a checkup and I was just sitting there in the doctor's office like, <sighs> I had heat waves and nausea and today I feel a little bit better, but that's probably because the weather has cooled down a little bit. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I've noticed. As soon, we don't have air conditioning here at home, but as soon as I go into an office or a shopping mall where they have air con, I feel so much better, so, so much better. So it is, I guess it's really important to stay cool, to stay hydrated and uh, yeah, just take it easy. Um, but if you have any, any more suggestions or recommendation on how to cope with this stupid, stupid morning sickness, uh, I, I, your, your recommendations are so welcome. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to my midwife appointment this, this afternoon. And if I get a picture or a video, I, I will upload it and let you guys know uh, what, what I got to see. And Or if the midwife has any helpful recommendations or yeah, whatever she says. I'm really excited about my appointment. And I hope you, you're, you're all feeling um, great and you're having a happy and healthy pregnancy and to all TTC ladies out there uh, lots of baby dust lots and lots of baby dust I know how hard the TTC journey can be and how nerve-wracking it can be sometimes but I'm thinking of you and I wish you all all the best and hope that you get pregnant really 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 soon and I will be back with my nine week pregnancy update uh, very soon have a wonderful day bye